Okay, in this video we're going to talk about number one from the 2017 Calc AB and Calc BC exams, and it is a table problem. So we are told that we're dealing with a tank that has a height of 10 feet, and the areas of um, the area of horizontal cross section of the tank at height h um, is given by the function a, where a is measured in square feet. We also know that a is continuous and decreasing. Um, and so we have this table, and you can see h goes from 0 to 10 because the height of the tank is 10. And in the first part, we are going to approximate the volume of the tank. So to approximate the volume of the tank, we have to think about what we know. So we know the area of a cross-section, and we know that the tank goes from h equals 0 to h equals 10. So in general, when you have area of a cross-section and you want to get volume, um, you use this idea. So it's the integral from a to b of the area of a cross-section. And then um, I have to pick a variable here, so I'm going to say dx. But dx, uh, it's really not x. It's actually just whatever the independent variable is. And in this problem, the independent variable is h. So we're going to end up with dh when we do this. So this problem is asking us to find the integral from, so h goes from 0 to 10, so 0 to 10, of a of h, which is the area of a cross-section, and then dh. And we have to use a left Riemann sum. So that's going to be approximately. So left Riemann sum. So first we're going to go from 0 to 2, which is 2. And then left Riemann sum. So uh, we use the value of the function at 0, which is the left end point. So 50.3. And then plus, you have to go from 2 to 5, which is 3. And then the left end point gives us 14.4. And then we have to go from 5 to 10, which is 5, and the left end point is 6.5. And so you could stop there and put units on it. So we're integrating um, square feet and then times feet. So we get cubic feet, which is volume, so that kind of makes sense. Um, but I use the calculator to get 176.3 and then feet cubed, so make sure you put the units. And that's part A. So part B says, does the approximation in part A over or underestimate the volume of the tank? And we have to explain. So uh, if you go back to what you were told, you were told that A is a continuous decreasing function. So when we look at this, um, I'm just going to say since A of H is a decreasing function, so that was totally given, so it's a decreasing function, um, a left Riemann sum is going to overestimate. So it's going to overestimate because a decreasing function, a left Riemann sum, always overestimates. Um, but I want to stress that you, you should remember this. But if you don't remember it, just sketch something. Um, and that should be enough to tell you. So for example, if you kind of plot the points, I didn't even do a great job of plotting them. And then I kind of put a function through there. And then if you just draw your left Riemann sum, you can see that you're definitely overestimating it. So you don't have to totally think it through. Um, if you get nervous or whatever, just draw a little picture and, and you'll kind of have the answer that you need. So part C, this is a really common thing that they're doing with table problems now, is they kind of give you a table, ask you two questions about the table, and then uh, they usually introduce a function and ask you two questions about the function. So it's not really just a table problem anymore. So here's the table that we use for parts A and B. But in part C, they introduce a new function, um, which they call f of h, which is 50.3 over e to the 0.2h plus h. Um, and we're told to basically use that for the area of a cross-section instead. And the question is, based on this model, what is the volume of the tank? And we have to indicate units of measure. So based on this model, um, I'm just going to set up my integral. But remember, we're, we're really just redoing part A here. So it's the integral from 0 to 10 of f of h dh, and that's going to be approximately uh, 101.325 cubic feet. And the way I did that was I used calculator. So the calculator, uh, I defined f of h, I integrated, it gave me that little yield sign, uh, like a warning. So uh, I went with the answer anyway, but to see what that said, I, I clicked on it and it says, result obtained using approximate arithmetic. So that's comforting to see on the AP exam. Um, but that's my answer, and it's what I went with. So now we're on to part D. And part D is, uh, it's not super unusual. So we're still using f of h, um, which they gave us in part C. And it says water is pumped into the tank. When the height of the water is 5 feet, the height is increasing at the rate of 0.26 foot per minute. So when h is equal to 5, uh, we know that dh dt is 0.26 foot per minute. 
I would have said feet per minute, but foot per minute. Um, so this already feels like a related rates problem. And it says, using the model from part C, find the rate at which the volume of the water is changing with respect to time. So the volume with respect to time. So we're trying to find um, dv dt. And v is uh, not currently a function of time. Uh, so this definitely related rates when the water is 5 feet. And uni uh, indicate units of measure. So this is definitely a related rates problem. And so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write the volume as a function of h. So in general, it's the integral from you know a to b area of a cross section. So what I want is I want that upper bound to be a variable. So I'm going to say the volume is the integral from 0 to h of f of, and now I need a dummy variable, so I just use x. So uh, the volume, so when we were finding 0 to 10, it was the integral from 0 to 10. If we want the volume from 0 to 5, it would be 0 to 5. Um, so the volume is now a function of h. And it's relayed rates, so um, the volume we currently have is a function of h, but I want dv dt. So dv dt should be um, dv dh, which is what we can find using the second fundamental theorem, times dh dt. And so if we use the second fundamental theorem, we get dv dh is just f of h. And we know that dh dt at the time, or rather the height we're interested in, is 0.26. So now it's just kind of a, a multiplication thing. So dv dt, when h is equal to 5, is going to be f of 5 times 0.026. And my calculator told me that that is 0.1694. And then the units should be um, cubic feet is volume, and then time is in minutes. And uh, that's the entirety of the problem. I hope you found this helpful, and good luck.